Now to the other top story tonight. It is about blatant corruption that reaches to the very top of the Trump administration, but also lotion. Trump's EPA chief now facing 15 different ethics investigations over corruption and abusing his power. Some involve the environmental health of the entire country. Others involve a pettiness at a petty scale that's actually hard to fathom, like tonight's news that Pruitt may have violated federal rules by demanding his security guards find his favorite moisturizing lotion. Now, if you want to be extra fair to any busy bureaucrat, perhaps you can make an excuse for why a guy on the go might need someone to pick him up a personal item here or there, be it a lotion or a sanitizer or whatever you need to get through the day. But as with so many things Pruitt, the details don't help him. Taxpayers cover his $3.5 million annual security detail, and he not only tasked them with buying lotion, but, quote, directed agents to drive him to multiple locations in search of a particular lotion on offer at Ritz-Carlton Hotels. Today, Vox reporting that the Ritz-Carlton sells its own branded Jasmine Moisturizer Lotion at $27 for a 17-ounce bottle. And this quest for soft skin... It's not isolated. Other leaks show Pruitt wasting 1,500 taxpayer dollars on 12 custom fountain pens. What? $60,000 on fancy flights and hotels, and another 43K on a soundproof phone booth. But here's the thing about these leaks that are exposing Pruitt's alleged grifting. It's not just abusing his job and wasting the public resources. There may also be a kind of a neurosis here. Consider that he apparently made special arrangements to keep getting discounted lunch at the White House mess hall until they literally asked him to stop, noting, we love having Mr. Pruitt, but it's not meant for everyday use. One of his bills there ran $400. So from the lotion to the pens, you start to wonder if there's any perk or discount that Pruitt's not too ashamed to try and cop. To paraphrase the rapper 21 Savage, Scott Pruitt is the type to stand in line for free stuff, which of course is not cool. Now of all the discounts, here is the one that seems more like Pruitt ended up playing himself because he was busted for pushing his aides to get him a deal on a used mattress from the Trump Hotel. Now look, do what you want, but if you are into the kind of discount that comes with a mattress that other people have already used, wouldn't you still lean towards one that has a single previous owner, not hundreds of different hotel guests per year? Joining me now on this important story is Sam Cedar, host of the Majority Report podcast. Go ahead. Thank you for the pen. I'll take that. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I, there, I, I really don't have an explanation for the list of things this guy goes after. Well, neither do I. <laughs> I don't know that neither anybody do does. I. I mean, maybe he's trying to curry favor and say to Donald Trump, I've had this, for, this mattress for years. But, I mean, at the bottom line, there is a quality of, of low-level local politician corruption that you see, mm -hmm. not just with Scott Pruitt, I mean, in some ways, he's sort of a metaphor for the whole administration. You know, I'm going to become an alderman because I'm going to get uh, the, the, the proper zoning for my hardware store. You see that. Is the, is the metaphor that we're all forced to sleep on a used hotel mattress? On some level, yes. <laughs> we're, that, that is basically, um, I, I don't know how to explain that. I, I mean, I don't know if there was some type of, like, prank that he was going to do, or, but. As a lawyer, I could give you the, the counter argument. Please. For one of them. And that would be, maybe that Ritz lotion is just that good. It, well, it's possible. I don't want to get into, you know, uh, sulfates and whether or not you even need that. But, because uh, that's not my expertise either. But he, the, the idea that you get into a position and you just take as much as you can, that you get into government service because it gives you basically an entree in to get whatever you want and take whatever you want, I think is, um, is the organizing principle of the vast majority of people who enter into the Donald Trump administration. And, you know, then the other question is, like, what's it going to take for this guy to get fired? And, and, and why is that um, such a, a steep hill to climb? I mean, what's it going to take? And does the proverbial fish rot from the head, does the proverbial free lotion grifting uh, come from the very top? I mean, th th this is something that Donald Trump is somewhat known for. Take a look at him talking about Pruitt just this week. Administrator Scott Pruitt. Thank you, Scott, very much. EPA is doing really, really well. 
And, you know, somebody has to say that about you a little bit. You know that, Scott. <laughs> but uh, you have you've done, I tell you, the EPA is doing so well. People are really impressed with the job that's being done at the EPA. Look, as as much as Donald Trump, I think, is um, uh, appreciates a, a good uh, thief and someone who's going to take a little bit more than they, they should, this is the type of thing that got a lot of other people fired, it seems to me, in Absolutely. the administration. So you got to ask, like, what's going on here? And, and I think, frankly, the answer is Harold Hamm. Uh, Harold Hamm was the guy who was instrumental in putting Scott Pruitt on there. He was co-chair of one of Scott Pruitt's uh, re-election campaigns. He is a billionaire frack who has pushed a number of, of, of federal and, and uh, legislation. Um, and I think this is a function of, of Donald Trump you know, and Scott Pruitt having basically a sugar daddy. And, and I mm. think that, that sugar daddy is, is Harold Hamm. And, and because if, if getting a used mattress doesn't get you fired from Donald Trump, who sort of, you know, he wouldn't hire Bolton the first time around because he didn't appreciate his mustache, um, I don't know that anything can, uh, and, and, and you have to ask why. I mean, who's protecting this guy? And, and, and frankly, I think it's uh, this billionaire fracker. Right, and that's a, it's a great point you raise, and it also goes to what does matter here, which is beyond the bizarre, uh, sheer, embarrassing pettiness of much of the behavior. It goes to an idea that government is for sale and for his personal enrichment, um, which is a huge problem and not, I should mention, an ideological issue. That's not a left-right thing. That's just whether you're honest in government. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. And we appreciate that.